Hi, I'm Larry Ashley, your Okaloosa County Sheriff. I'm here today to introduce you to our new website. It's our new electronic front desk. I hope you'll spend some time with me as we show you all the new features we have. Well, let's start with our home page and we'll go to uh, the menus that show everything that we do here at the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office. We can start in our newsroom, which starts with uh, the Sheriff's Message and the Public Information Office, Chaplain's Corner, videos, our whistleblower policy. We have information about the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, the command staff, the organizational chart, the policy manual, the uh, annual reports and budget. We have news release uh, and public resources, which includes found and abandoned property, uh, the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office most wanted persons, sex offender and predator information, our services courses, which is crime prevention and firearm safety. We have the Sheriff's Citizen Academy, concealed weapons license, vacation security checks, our specialized units, which include anywhere from traffic and investigations and canine, all the way to administration, records, honor guard, and public information. Uh, our community outreach menu with a sheriff's events calendar everywhere I'm at. The, you know, you have the ability to see where I'm at. The in memory, the Emerald Coast Crime Stoppers, the Okaloosa Law Enforcement Benevolent Association. Uh, if you want more information about joining the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, we have that information, our posse, our volunteer. Uh, availabilities, the locations and contact. If you want to contact anybody at the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, we provide that information as well. Let's examine some of the specific features that we have on our website, which include our social media. Our, our Facebook, uh, we're getting great response from the public, but we want to make you aware of what all it, it offers. It's just an exchange of information. We let you know what's going on in the county and what's going on in the Sheriff's Office, and you provide feedback to us that allows us to do a better job for you to answer your questions. It's, uh, it's been incredible. Uh, at times we've had 12,000 hits a day on the information that we put out and the comments that come back to us. This here is a you know, traffic crash at you know, road, State Road 85 near Duke Field and the information provided there. So if you want to bypass that, that road blockage, uh, Baker Air, you know, whether we had uh, fires, uh, brush fires, the Department of Highway Safety Motor Vehicles Driver's License Office and the information about its closing. All those things that would affect you as a citizen and the services we provide here at the Sheriff's Office. Uh, we've also got a Twitter account which uh, allows you to receive the same information that I as the Sheriff receive. It, you know, I, my phone goes off constantly with information that's going on throughout the county, whether it's in Baker or Milligan or Dorcas or Destin or Mary Esther or Harvard or Eglin, and so you the citizens can keep up with the same events that I as your Sheriff keep up with. Our, our, our annual reports and budget, they constantly uh, have the information available to you, the citizens, on what dollars come into the Sheriff's Office and what dollars come out and exactly what they're being spent on. That's one of my goals, to be transparent and let you, the citizen, know exactly what your Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office does. Our traffic and weather advisories, they're super. You can place those on your front desk on your computer at home and you can tell exactly the local weather in your area. You can tell the traffic uh, incidents that occur if you need to bypass an area to get to work on time. You won't have to get out of bed early maybe as, as early. Uh, we also have a crimereports.com. It's a super uh, site that we uh, actually encourage you to go to because you can map out your neighborhood, you can map out your city, you can map out whatever geographic area you want and determine what kind of crimes you want to keep up with it that occur in your community. Whether it's sexual predators and offenders, gang members, uh, threats, thefts, uh, larceny, any of those things, assault and batteries, you decide, you go to this section here uh, that's called Incident Layers, and it gives you an index of the crimes that are tracked on our crimereports.com. You can check those that you want to keep up with, you can uncheck those that you're not interested in, you can map out your neighborhood as big or as small as you want to and keep up with the incidents that occur that, that are a concern to you and to us. And uh, the more eyes and ears that we have, the more crime we can prevent. Let's go to some of the new items we've added to our, our website uh, with a quick menu glances, and those include our news releases and, and public information requests, our public documents, which include annual budgets and reports. So let's take a look at that now. Right here at our news releases, they, they give you the actual date that the incident occurred and the information behind it. And those come in the same form that we send out to all of our media outlets. And those, the latest here is our, our contract proposal to the city of Destin and the PowerPoint that we actually presented to the council meeting. And uh, if you go to uh, keeping track on teens on probation, it's the news release regarding how we've instituted a new program and in helping the Department of Juvenile Justice keep up with those teens that are on house arrest 
and what the percentage of those that were not actually abiding by their, their probation. All these things that we provide to the media, unedited, they come to you right here, unedited, unfiltered, on, on your Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office website. The, uh, when we go to our calls for service, this is a, a new item that we've included, and it actually tells you, not in real time, but very close to real time, where your officer's at and what kind of calls they're answering. They won't include some of the more violent calls but they, because of officer safety issues, but they include the calls that your deputies are on, how long it takes them, how long they're on scene, and, and what location they're at. The, uh, search for wanted persons. This is a great feature, I believe. If you've got a, you know, you live in a neighborhood and you want to see if your neighbor is wanted, you can actually go type their name in here and discover if they're wanted in Oakland County for any criminal charges. The, uh, it helps you, the citizens, help us, your law enforcement agency, help recover some of these folks that are wanted and helps us apprehend them and make our community safer. One of the favorite aspects I, I like about our new website is the public information request section. If we receive a public information request from you, a citizen, or any other outlet, we post that request and the information provided on our website. This allows us to tell you, the citizens, exactly our perspective in whole, unfiltered, unedited. It provides all those information, all the information that we believe is pertinent to the question and, and or the request. Uh, here, the, in this one here, it's an inquiry on possible consolidation and review. You know, the, the local media sends me the questions, I answer them, and I post those questions and those answers on our website for you, the citizens, to determine. It's not opinionated. It's my, my view as the sheriff or, or the agency view, and uh, it's uh, unfiltered. Let's look at this one, for example, the inquiry on possible consolidation and inquiry review. It's a, it's a media uh, outlet that, that posed questions to me as the sheriff. Those questions were, were sent to us via email. I answered them. I posted that information on our website, and it's unedited, unfiltered, and it gives you, the citizen, an opportunity to go over that and form your own opinions. A few more items we can look at before I let you go is our YouTube account. The Sheriff's Office actually posts videos from crimes that occur in our community and allow you, the citizens, to help us identify who those per perpetrators might be. They include this burglary here at Baker, the Baker Cafe or the Gator Cafe, where you actually see the burglar come in on video, burglarize the place, and leave. And so you may know him by his mannerisms, his height, his weight, and his, his features, and you, the citizen, can help us prevent crime. That's just one of the great features of our new website. It allows you, the citizen, to help us make our community a safer place to be. Additionally, we have a site map. If you get lost in all the menus and the other uh, ways to get to the information available to you, you can get to the very bottom of our homepage and it shows all those locations and they're hyperlinked. So you can go to those with a click of a mouse just by looking up the information. No pictures, no arrows, but it just shows you the information, the, the context, the subject, and you just click on them and go straight to them. We have vacation and security checks. For our homeowners, when you're out of town, we'll be happy to send by an extra patrol and make sure the right light's on at the right time. And we, we look forward to providing that service and making you aware that it's available to you. Well, as you can see, there's a wealth of information on our new website. And that is because we want to be transparent and we want you, the citizens, to know what occurs at your Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office. We need you to help us prevent crime. If you have suggestions for the new website or information that you want to see on the website, please let us know and we'll make sure we get it up there. Thank you for your time in this segment, and if any additional information, shoot us an email, Facebook us, get on our Twitter site, and we look forward to serving you.